Hey you two! This is Super Zemison. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. All right, last time we made it to the Cave of Mis or Mycidian Cave, and this is gonna be a really mazy area, viewers. And the enemies here aren't quite as easy as the ones in the Tropical Cave. So, well, here we get a gold hairpin. We want to give that to Furion. It lowers his attack power, but that's okay. It gets better defense, so. Defense all is always essential, I think. Overall, this place is actually a shorter area. It's just the fact that it's so mazy. It that's the reason why it takes so long. There we get a black guard. That's also better for Furion. Yeah, <laughs> look at that defense. Sammy me down the flame armor now to uh, Guy, and that's pretty much all the equipping in this episode. Not too much to worry about. Oh. Did I see some... Huh. Why, hello, this guy looks awfully familiar. Who's that strapping young lad in the mirror? Ah, that's right. Remember how we put the white mask on the goddess? Well, since we have a pure heart, Doppelganger is not moving. So, what do we want to do? Let's put the black mask on him, and that will uh, destroy him, basically. Yay, Black Mask on Doppelganger. Time to do a little Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras celebration, yay! Huh, I guess that solves everything, doesn't it? Well, now we can go on through the rest of the dungeon. Yeah, if you don't have... If you... I don't... I've never actually not put the white and black, black mask, so... I don't exactly know what happens if you don't... Uh, if you don't get those masks, so I, I assume that it won't end well for you. Anyway, if we go down here, yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Trying to remember where to go through. Yeah, there's a lot of secret passages in this d dungeon. Anyway, we get up. Anyway, we got a flame lance. That's nice. Yeah, well, I forgot. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, remember the Red Souls viewers? The the boss fight of the Red Soul with Gordon and Castle Cashwan? Yeah, they're They're regular enemies now, but anyway, here back there, there he is. The Marlboro. I have a bone to pick with them, viewers. <coughs> they are one of the two nemesis the nemeses that I have in video games, the Marlboro. We have a terrible past together. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I was playing Final Fantasy VIII, and, well, they have this ability called Bad Breath. Now, in this game, I'm not too worried about them, because all they really can do is paralyze you with their physical attacks. They have about as much HP as a Hill Gigas, but I'm not sure if they're weak to anything. But later on in other Final Fantasies, we won't get that lucky. Oh, later versions of the Marlboros get worse, too, in this game, but mostly, these Marlboros, they have this ability called Bad Breath. I think I've already gone over this. So many status ailments. They are basically Bahamut, La Bahamut Lagoons, equivalent to Alexander's Dragon King. And they are very annoying. I hate them so much. There's only one other that annoys me as much as the Marlboro. Hence why he is my nemesis. But anyway, there was the Marlboro. There we got an ice bow, but we already have an ice bow. Yeah, those Marlboros are quite common in this dungeon. Thankfully, though, they're not as annoying as they are in um, future Final Fantasies. <coughs> Eight. <coughs> anyway, we have to fight bombs to get the Ogre Killer, but yeah, oh well. They're pretty easy anyway. Yeah, eight personally, I hate the Marlboros in that one. They're, they're the worst, Marlboro. Four is kind of bad, too. If you, if fours of, of Marlboros are pretty bad, too. But, yeah, I just don't like them at all. But, that was just my experience. I just have not had... I have not had a good past with those guys. The other uh, nemesis... The other nemesis I have is... Well, we'll get to, uh, to that LP soon enough, uh, sooner or later, viewers, so. Yeah, I mean, the next LP, er, 
The LP with my other nemesis is actually the highest on my consideration list. Oh, hey, a new enemy. Flying Ray. These guys have about as much HP as a Marlboro and can paralyze you with your physical attacks like every other Ray. They're probably the toughest of all the Rays in the game, so... If they're in a group, because they can get up to groups of like five, four or five, so... You want to take care of them. They have a pretty abusive physical attack. 750 HP, though, not too bad. We've dealt with worse. Yeah, at this point, the hill gigases are pretty easy now. Anyway, in here we get a potion. That's not very impressive, but take what you can get. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Here we get a bell of silence. As the name suggests, it silences your enemies. A gold needle and a phoenix down. Those aren't that bad. Bell of silence, I could probably live without that. Anyway, let's... Pretty much, I think this floor right here is actually the last floor in the dungeon, so that's pretty nice. Here we get a Drain Tome, never gonna use it, but we have to fight ghosts to get it. Here's a new enemy. These guys have a pretty abusive physical attack, but they're not that bad, actually. I feel this, their cousins, the Spectres, are more dangerous. Even though the ghosts have more HP and more attack power and physical defense, Spectres have Petrified. Yeah, still I can one-shot them anyway, so ghosts, not that terrible. Don't really look ghost-like anyway, they look more like skeletons with, um, uh, a serape. Ooh, scary. Anyway, um, where is, there it is, alright, yeah, there's the secret pathogen there. Mini-tome, never gonna use it. Anyway, we get a big treasure loot of ether, potion, and... Two high potions. Eh, just curative items. Curative items aren't that bad. It's always nice. Anyway, let's go on to the end of the dungeon now. Finally get out of here. Wow, I'm surprised I got through this dungeon as fast as I have. I mean, you can get lost pretty easily in this dungeon. I'm actually kind of surprised I've done as well as I have. This is one of the harder dungeons in the game. Anyway, here we get a drain tome. Never gonna use it. Osmos Tome, not planning on using it. And in here, we obtain the Crystal Rod! The thing we need to use to get into the Mysidian Tower to collect our prize of the Ultima Tome. Let's warp on out of here, because there's nothing really we can do left in... Well, there's nothing left in this dungeon. Got everything. So, might, w might as well heal up and... Wow, I have a lot of time left. I'm surprised. Um... You know, I might go to... Why don't I go to Altair on screen, heal up, and why don't we go... I'm not... I don't want to head straight to the next dungeon just yet. I want to save that for next time. So, you know what? I have a lot of time. I'm just going to head to Altair on screen, so... Oh, well. I'll wait, I will still edit battles out. I mean, I don't have that much time. But I do have a little time. I, I, I need a... I need to do something to buy some time. I don't want to just go straight... I don't want to go straight there, because, well... You'll find out next episode. So, let's just go back to Altair anyway. Not not a bad idea. Anyway, if we, to go to the next dungeon, you want to go up there to the Messidian Tower. That's how to get there. But I hope uh, you've enjoyed Layla and your team viewers. Well, anyway, we're here in Altair. Why don't we heal up? Never got to see me rest up that much in this LP, have you, viewers? I mean, you've seen it once in a while, but... You know, I usually do this off-screen after grinding or... Getting home from an adventure. Huh? What was it, June? I'm home, or I don't know. Remember that from Roseanne or something, I think it was. Anyway, let's head off to the next dungeon now. Well, I'm not going to go in just yet, though. But there it is. Up there is the Mesidian Tower. But will it be as easy as just waltzing in and getting the Ultima Tome? Or will we be experiencing some roadblocks on the way? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2.
This is Super 7 and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.